Hello drummers and other creatures. Today we're going to have a quick look at the groove for Madness's song The Prince, which is about a chap called Prince Buster, who is a singer from Jamaica who made a song called Madness, after whom the band is named. Or at least I think that's the story. And um, we're going to look at Woody Woodgate's uh, groove on this song, which is slightly quirky and a lot of fun to play. Here's a quick demo. Buster, he sold the heat. Wah, wah, wah. With a rock steady beat. Wah, wah, wah. So let's get stuck in. Pretty simple to start with. We're just going to play hi-hat eighth notes and four to the floor on the bass, meaning we're going to play one and two and three and four and on the hi-hat and the bass is going to play one, two, three, four. You can do that, right? That's the first thing. Next, we're going to play the floor tom on the and of four. So it's going to be one and two and three and four and. Oh, my shirt is clamping. One and two and three and four and, like this. You notice I'm using my right hand and I'm flinging it over there, I'm flinging it over there to play the floor tom. You could reach under with the left hand or whichever way round you're doing it. And so on, whatever feels comfortable. Next, we're going to add the snare on the three Anna. So that's one and two and three Anna, four and one and two and three Anna, like this. Again, you can reach for the floor tom any way you like. That's the, the bones of the groove. That's the essence of it. One little extra detail, though, that makes it super cool is that we get a little double stroke on the hi-hat leading in to the Anna of the three. So uh, I'm, I'm going to count it as a diddly um. It's a sort of triplet or um, like a 16th note triplet. So it, it sounds like this. My chosen way of doing that is just let the, um, the stick produce two sounds for one movement of the hand, or two for one, as I like to call it. If you don't know how to do that, that's for another video. But if you're comfortable doing that, I think that's the easy way to get those two hi-hat sounds to happen. diddly -um. Altogether, that's what happens. diddly um tum Okay, like this. And that's it, that's your groove. In the song, every one is crashed as well. So the beginning of every bar, there's a crash, and that's the last little thing you need to do to make this all happen. The 
choice is up to you. How do you want to throw your sticks around the kit? Uh, again, I quite like having my right hand bouncing over to the floor tom like this, and then I'm going to play the crash with my left hand. Um, but you could have the right hand play the floor tom, bounce on over to the crash like this. Alternatively, if you're reaching under for the floor tom, your right hand will be playing the crash over there like this. And that's it. That's all you need to know. You can pick up the fills by ear um, and it's just cool. Learn how to play the groove and sit with it through the song. Thank you very much. Now go away and practice.